National support for legalizing marijuana is dropping. The number of Americans backing legalizing it are now in the minority. And Steve, the question is, is the tide turning on legalization of pot? Well, it's going to take more than one poll to see if this is really a trend, David. But the thing is, people are now learning from the experience, especially in Colorado, that pot is a dangerous thing, especially when you lace it with food. Can you imagine the reaction in this country if we put nicotine in food and made it attractive to young kids and things like that? There'd be a national outcry. So this is a dangerous drug. And so if people want to legalize it, have to accept there are going to have to be severe restrictions on it. It hurts uh, the brain development for teenagers and the like. So if you want to legalize the thing, you just can't do it. Right. Across the board. And, and Rich, stuff. I know this is just one poll, but the fact is there are so many aspects to legalization of marijuana that hadn't been really thought through. And as people see it work out, and in some cases not work out very well, they're more against it. You know, that's true, but I think that national polls are not particularly relevant here because a, a trend that we've seen in the United States is that the blue states are becoming bluer, the red states redder. So how, you know, how Americans as a whole think about pot may be different than how people in the state of Washington or Colorado. So I think you're going to see these different areas that have different tolerances for pot. But Sabrina, in those areas, like in Colorado, for example, there was just a headline that uh, Colorado is drawing more homeless to the state as a result of the legalization of marijuana. There's also some horrific stories about kids getting sick because... They, they eat this pot candy, which they should never be getting their hands on anyway, but we knew it would end up there. We said that right here on Forbes a couple of months ago. Right, right. No, but David, I think you just revealed the secret. This is a textbook example of how the news cycle actually impacts public opinion polling. What's happening is that people are hearing about le the legalization of pot all the time now. It's on the front pages of the papers. It's in the news. And it's usually tied to some kind of negative stories, like the ones you just mentioned. As a result, when they get polled by you know, a, you know, a big polling company, they have something bad to say about it. I think that this does not necessarily you know, um, suggest that any kind of significant shift in opinion. It's just a matter of, of time and things will probably go back know. to normal. John, I think, look, people, drugs do draw a lot of bad consequences. You don't want people out in the open doing drugs uh, everywhere. It does bring down the, the level of the community somewhat, and that's why certain communities are saying we don't want it here anymore. Well, if what you say is true, why do we need politicians to make them illegal? We don't trust politicians to dictate any other things in our lives. Why here? If pot is so bad, why create a law for it? We can take care of ourselves. We will know not to smoke it based on those consequences. Okay, quick, Rick. Yeah, I mean, I'm just going to say this. I think the poll's an outlier. We'll see as more coming. But listening to all of your criticisms, I, I applied the word alcohol instead of pot to every single yes. one of them, and it fits. So if you want to outlaw pot, okay, but you better outlaw all alcohol, right. too. But you better understand there are consequences to making it to legal. Both. Coming up earlier in the show, we told you about a survey showing...